Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make like a stop motion of just like a basic punch. So, there are a couple things you'll need for this. So you'll need the figures that you're gonna use. So this could be clay, this could be action figures, whatever you wanna animate with. Um, also, you're gonna need a camera and a tripod. Just your phone works. There's like two free apps that you're gonna need, but the tripod you can just buy for really cheap on Amazon. So that's everything you'll need. Although I would recommend some lights, like the ones I have. I have two IKEA tertials attached to my desk. You, you don't need them, but it helps make it look a lot more professional. So anyway, let's get straight into it. So like I said, you're going to need just two free apps for this. So the two apps that you will need are stop motion. I have the pro version, but you don't need the pro version. I just prefer to use that because it has some extra features. But for now, you can just use the normal one that you find on the app store. It's just called stop motion studio. And then I don't think I have it here on my phone, but on the iPad I'm recording with, you're gonna need KineMaster. That's what I record all of my videos with. Um, sorry, edit them. But it's a really, really powerful tool and you can get the pro version like I have, but just like the stop motion app, you don't need it to make a just simple stop motion video. Anyway, so in order to use this program, you just have to go into it and then you'll be, you'll have this, which, except there won't be any things on it, but so it'll be empty and you can just click, click the plus and then it'll create like a movie and you can go into it and then you just need to click this camera icon right here and there you go and then of course there are different things that you can pick so you can pick the focus mode the white balance the focus which is actually really good i recommend manual focus the iso as well as the shutter um the zoom and you can kind of rotate and play with it so yes there are lots of interesting features that you can use on this app all right so i found a camera angle that i like but you can see it's blurry. So like I said earlier, you should always use manual focus. So you can adjust it so that even if your phone can't do portrait mode, you can do portrait mode when doing stop motion, which is actually a very useful tool whenever you're trying to blur the background, but have the main subject still in detail. So whenever you're doing stop motion, you wanna do lots of very small frames, not lots of big ones. So if I wanted to do a simple punch here, you can't just have Spider-Man move his hand forwards. You would want to take a frame like this and then move his hand back so that he can wind up for the punch. And then you're gonna to start to tilt him forwards and move his hand forwards. The, faster, the less frames you do, the faster the video will be. So here, I'm gonna want less frames here so it looks like he's moving his hand really fast. And you might want to add some camera shake. So here I'm just going to aim the camera to the left. And then I'm going to move the camera back and move Shocker back and move Spider-Man's hand through. Because his hand doesn't just immediately stop when he hit, hits Shocker. And then I might move the camera the other way a bit to follow through with the shake. And then you're just going to have a couple more frames of the cooldown. And Shocker should still be going backwards because Spider-Man is really strong. Oftentimes I find using your fingers to prop up the characters can help greatly whenever you're trying to hold the characters and if you don't have any tape or clay, which is what I usually use to send the characters when I can't use my fingers or when it's not necessary. So I'm just gonna do one last frame here of them standing in their normal stances. And I'm gonna move the focus so that they can both be in focus. And there, so you have a simple punch. Another thing I should mention is in order to save this to your camera roll, you want to click on select in the top right corner, select your video, then click on the share button in the top left corner and export movie. Then, in my case, I want to go to my iPad. All right, now we have made it to my favorite part of the progress, the editing. 
and then you can create a brand new project by clicking on the plus in the top right corner. Then you can click on media, then once video is open, go to all, and you can find your video. So, on YouTube, you can find tons of different punch sound effects, and you can download them. There are lots of different tutorials on how to download MP3 sound effects. Once you have saved it, you can click onto audio, internal, and then you can try and find the punch effect, or whatever sound effect. And I like the first one, it's really, really powerful. So I'm going to click on split and cut it so that it's just that sound effect. And then we have this. Now, that's a really, really loud sound effect, so I'm going to make it a bit quieter. And, if we want to add a, like a whoosh sound of his hand moving through the air really, really quickly, we can do that. So, again, go into audio, internal, and then find your sound effect. Alright, so I've imported my sound effect. Now, there are lots of different ones here, but I've used this one a lot. I'm going to use this last one. So, I think this one sounds really cool. Let's see how it sounds. It sounds super strong. But it's really, really loud. So, I'm going to make that one quiet. And also, Spider-Man has a pretty thin arm, just like me. So, the sound effect being that deep doesn't really make that much sense. So, I'm going to go voice changer, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to click kid. And, there you go, you have a sound effect. Now, if you want to change the video, there are lots of different filter options that you can use. I want to do something cold. Maybe it looks like it's raining. I like that one. It has a nice look to it. Now, I think, this part, you need the pro to do it. But I'm going to add some rain. So I'm going to click on layer, and it's sticker. And rainy days, and this one. So now, looks like a rainy day so there you have it that is how you can make um like a punch stop motion inside of kinemaster uh, if this helped please leave a like as it helps a lot i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers and i'm about 750 so if we can make it there by the end of the year i will be very very grateful anyways bye see you in the next video